Hello everyone, I will present what's new in Revit 2023.1, but only for simulation and structural analysis. If you want to know more, you can go on the Revit blog and you will see, uh, for example, Twin Motion, all this element. And you have uh, a good access with the help where you can find what's new in uh, the last release dot one. So let's move to structural analysis only. Now there is a new button. This button will assist you to find uh, which beam or wall or column you design and associate the properties to the line, analytical line you draw. So let's see how this work. So I will create a wall in 2D view. So that new line you can trade in 2D view. So you click the button and you see at the bottom, you will see which element it is. So maybe you can display on this wall if you create all the wall. After you can tab if you want to choose another. And here the wall has take uh, directly the properties of, uh, I would say the panel has take the property of the wall. Here you can see it's 20 in concrete classic. So let's move after the wall is uh, bigger, 40. So I will create, so tab to find the good way. And then I will select another one here. And then the last. Okay, I won't go uh, to do all, but you have understand uh, how does it works. And after, if you select, here you can see the wall is 40 and then 20 again. So we can do the same for the beam. So, of course, we'll go for member for beam, associate, and then I will click one side and click the other side. Here you can see the beam has been associated with the element. So it's one way associated. If you want, if you change one, you have to run a dynamo script. So now uh, you can, from a analytical model, create automatically a physical model, as you can see. You can update uh, properties only if you want. By the way, if you update, for example, the size in a robot or another software and you want to change the analytical, if it's already linked, you will be able to do it. So here, let's create a physical based on analytical. And you have it. It's um, easy, but it's only association. It means that if you change one, the other won't change automatically. So you need to run the Dynamo script again, maybe without updating the geometry or updating only the properties if you want to do both sides. You can now create a new curve model with an entity member and you can adjust uh, radius directly or uh, with the point. Let's have a look. As you can see, you can change directly the radius. So I will go for zero for you to understand. So here, for example, I will create a, a small um, circle, uh, maybe construction in plus of the concrete building. And uh, the idea is maybe I will uh, go for a central, central uh, column and uh, supporting by other beam, you see. And now, I would say it's really linked, uh, like if there was a constraint automatically. So if you move one, you see, all moves, and you can move the center too if you want, and all moves. So it's very uh, powerful, and you can really uh, adapt the way you want with grips. So at first I show you a straight wall, which is a usually the case, but now you can create a arc, ellipse, or convolution of all these four walls. 
And of course, you have the same groups, so it's really uh, powerful, I will show you. So here we have a retaining wall, uh, which is not straight. And uh, as you can see, you will associate. And here you can select Start, End. And after, of course, you will uh, find the middle, for example, or one point. And you can create uh, like this uh, until the end of, of the of the wall. Here it's really uh, easy and you have all grips. Here uh, I asked to, to continue, but you can create one by one if you want, as you can see in the grips. And since you have an association with the physical wall, you have the properties. Uh, as you can see, I've set a 3 meter 8 which is a level uh, between my two levels. And so if it fits exactly these two levels, if I change the level, of course, the physical wall and the analytical panel, I would say, will follow. Okay, so let's, let's show you. I move from uh, one meter and it will adapt directly. Here. So both has been updated. On the rebar side, now you can flip rebar set, which may change the grip from one side to another. I will show you. Here I start on one side at rebar, but after I need the grip the other side, you just have to select the rebar you want. And after you select flip, and after you see you have the grip the other side. Thank you for watching.